This is John from RSMB Help, and today we're going to be working on a spin that transfers places. So the two places that I'm going to be using today are Lumbridge and Artie for sake of example. So we're going to start in Lumbridge. I'm going to turn private chat off as soon as this loads. Okay. And we're just going to start somewhere. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Now, um, just for sake of example, uh, you are always going to want to keep the angle at which you are filming it to be the same. So I would recommend either using the lowest, the highest, or the default that when you hit face north, uh, that height, because that's an easy one to get to. And so um, I'm just going to have like a little introduction to this, where my character is going to walk up, and then it's going to spin around. So uh, we're just going to walk. Okay. Now at this point, what you're going to do is hold the right arrow and do a full spin. So holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it. Okay. And I did a little bit more than a full spin, but that's okay. So now, without making sure that you don't change the uh, the height. Okay. We're gonna start here. I'm gonna and do a full spin here as well. Okay. So move the cursor and full spin. And there we go. Looks pretty good. And now we're going to um, work on that. Now, of course, at this point, I can do some kind of line. So insert line here and do the slayer mode, you know, whatever. So let's uh, go into Vegas now. Everyone, um, here we are in Vegas. And as you can see, we have um, what we're going to work on. So the first thing we're going to do is before we split any clips, um, I'm going to um, adjust the camera so that it is the same throughout. And one of the important things that you're going to want to have in your uh, in your spin effect is a uniform camera. Basically, everything has to stay the same for it to look good. So we're going to take this walking part, um, whatever. That's fine. I know the cursor's in it, but for the sake of a preview, it'll work. Um, and I'm just going to find the last frame where he was not walking. There it is. Okay. Now we're going to find the spinning part, which is beginning. Coming up, coming up. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm, here we go. I'll find it. Give me a second. <laughs> the walking part, whatever. Um, actually, no, let me get the correct walking part. I'm going to start here and go backwards. So, I'm going to start there and delete everything. Oh, fuck. Okay, delete everything here. So, we have the walking part. And then we have the spin, which starts he coming up. And one of the important things is to keep as much as you can until the very end, because you can always um, delete stuff. It's a lot harder to add stuff back. So we have a full spin there, and we're not going to use that full spin for what it's worth. And then we're going to find the clip at Artie and get that full spin. So here's that full spin. Okay. Um, right there. Okay, so at this point, we have everything that we're going to need, which is walking, walk up, spin here, and spin here. Okay, so that's good. Uh, this is going to work great. Now we're going to create a new layer by hitting Control, Shift, and Q on your uh, keyboard. I want to take this layer, the uh, Artie layer, and put it above the Lumbridge layer. And we're going to lower the opacity so that we can see through it. All right. And I'm just going to, for sake of example, pick uh, when the character is looking directly onward. That's when we're going to switch to Artie. Okay. So. 
well, you don't get a direct onward. I'm going to say right there, okay? So I'm going to split it and leave that there. Then we're going to take this and find when it is directly onward, which is right here, I want to say. So we're going to split that, and let's see if that works. Okay, now as you can see, that is quite seamless, actually. Um, so that's good. A little bit off, but this is going to happen so fast that nobody's going to notice. Now, the important thing is that this goes really fast. As you can see, this um, is not going to impress many people. You're just like, wow, that looks ridiculous. So what we're going to do is we're going to shrink this as much as we can by holding down control. What just happened? Okay, we're going to hold down control and shrink this video down. Okay, and it, um, it gets pretty small. I'm going to take this one and shrink it as well. Okay. Um, and I just realized that I left the insert line here off. But it's not a big deal. You just add that on later. So, when we have this, we have... Well, hold on. I'll do a preview. That, that works pretty well. Okay. And in most situations, that'll work fine. But let's say that's not fast enough. Well, then here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in and we're going to do something that's kind of a pain, but uh, it'll work. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out um, every other frame in sets of two for what it's worth. I know that doesn't make any sense. So we're going to count over two frames with the right arrow, so click it twice, hit S, do it again, again, and one more. Okay. And then, delete that final one, we're going to delete every other uh, spin animation. So, what's going to happen is that is going to happen really fast. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, and we're going to delete these. And bring the others together. Note that if you're going to add effects to this transition, do it before you do all this because um, this is gonna you're gonna have to add the effect to every half a second clip. Okay, um, and then we have a little bit from already left, so I'll just add that on to the end so you can kind of see how that's gonna look. Yeah. Okay, so. Here's what that's going to look like. Very fast spin, and then I know that end part looks ridiculous, but um, I think that's about right, honestly. Yeah, it is. It looks perfect. So, it's going to look like that. And this is really helpful. Um, I can show you where I use that in my most recent video. If I open this up and go to recordings, finish and it would be faces two. No, I don't want to save the changes. Um, I actually did a double spin with this. Um, if I can find it, give me a second here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this little part. Um, yeah, let me turn the volume down. And as you can see in the uh, right here, or that really fast spin, if you zoom in on this, that's one little clip there, clip here, clip here, clip here, clip here, clip here, clip here. And there's just these little clips, and then it's the actual line of agree. So I'll, I'll play that one more time. Um, and it really does work. It looks really cool, and it's a nice transition for uh, switching. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, and if you want to uh, make your own little uh, video and upload it as a video response, because I'd like to see what you guys can do, and you can help other people too. All right, see you guys.